this has got to be one of the most beautiful nests and well-made nests that you'll ever find on Swalu and in many areas. This one is old, I've actually taken it off now and I'll show you why I've taken it off and exactly why. I'm going to keep this at the research center as a demo for some of the researchers that come in there, the people that are interested in birds. But have a look at this, I'm just going to get a little bit closer here and then I can tell you what it is and why it's so spectacular. So this is the nest of what we call a Cape Penduline tit. Okay, it's been completely predated on. It's got a big rip in the top of the nest over there. There's another smaller hole on the side of it as, as well. So some kind of predator was actually trying to get in here. It could have been a bird of prey. It could have been something like a genet perhaps. But this nest feels exactly like fleece and the best quality fleece. It is incredibly warm. Um, and what's, what I love about this, and ignore the hole that was on top, okay, that, that's not part of the normal thing. So if you lift that, there's like a false entrance. So it goes in a little bit and then stops. Okay, so when these birds come back, in fact, they're the smallest birds that we get in our region. They're tiny, tiny little things. To actually access the nest, this little flap over here is actually the nest entrance. So they'll actually zip that open, whoop, go down inside the nest through there, and then they'll just close it up from the inside again. So, and the theory there is that any predator that comes along, it, like snakes is the, the big predator on these, it'll come along, forage around there, up, no entrance, and then go off again. Now, you know, that is an incredibly effective strategy for avoiding predation on, the, on eggs and chicks and these things. But what an incredible design. Hey, we get these birds to make our tops for us next time.